Boto, uh, they told me a story. When the Japanese invade Philippines, our sin of Bartholomew is like this. The, the tip is pointed. This is the sin of Bartholomew. So when Japanese came to the Philippines, they invade some some location in Rizal. They see the farmer. Oh, that's dangerous. Because the tip will kill some Japanese. So the Japanese uh, soldier cut the tip of the blade so that they become like this one. Uh, okay. It's just a uh, old story. More of a blunt point. They cut the the tip so that the they will not stab the Japanese soldiers. Uh, because you are a farmer, why why your tip is so very sharp and pointed? Maybe it's dangerous they can so the Japanese soldier cut it the tip. So they become the binakoko. It's the story of old blacksmith in Antipolo, the Kaboto. So they become binakoko. Like this one, this is a we call this a binakoko bat. Same as the the Sinamar Tulume. So the, the tip is very pointed and they cut it so they become binakokong bata. Bata means uh, the younger one version of this one. So this one is an older version. The blade, unlike the human, we grow old. But the blade, time passes by, they become much younger. So they call it uh, Binakokong Bata. So Binakokong Bata, uh, the time goes by when you sharpen the knife and the blade, they become smaller. So they call it Bata, the younger one version. Very interesting. So the other one? The other one is started out from a company in Thailand called My Parang and it had a wood handle and it was uh, very thick with the spine and so they cut it down put a carabao handle on it it's uh, a Parang design okay. Thailand design and then the uh, Tomagong scabbard. And I like this one real well too. It's a good the spine is. Oh, I think it's thick. Before it was very thick. Mm. And the cutting edge only came to here. Mm. And so they modified it. It's a part of a one. I think this is similar to a Mindanao blade. Mm. I think. Because Indonesia is near to. Mm. Well, Mindanao. there was a lot of influence Mindanao. from travelers. So, this one? This one is also a Valiant Company out of Australia, uh, produced in Indonesia. It's a tiger. Mm. It's all carabao horn, scabbard and handle. It look like a plastic. Eh? Yeah. But it's a carabao, carabao horn. horn. You can see the mm -hmm. old uh, texture. And I think this is also considered a Golok. Mm -hmm. The small version. The small version. The same as Pinalos in Antipolo. Mm. We call this one the blade profile Pinalos. Like a uh, eel tail. Eel tail. Okay, so this one is also Valiant Company, sold in Australia, made in Indonesia. I'm not sure of the wood, what, what type of wood, but it's carabao horn mm. handle and carrier. And <laughs> we have a similar blade. It's a good chopper. Yes.
Si Mas Binagoko in Antipolo. Ah. It has a good shape to the handle too. Yes. And the balance. The balance is pretty good. It's a little front heavy. I'm not sure what the wood is. You can see the, the grain in it. The grain. Yeah. It must be Damascus. Yeah. <laughs> Same profile as the Binococo in Antipolo. But there's a cut in, in the tip. They did a lot of different types of blades, uh, mm -hmm. Valiant Company. They even did a uh, Kampilan that was a uh, Carabao horn handle. And oh, Kampilan, we have a Kampilan in Mindanao. Yeah. I have a Kampilan in the U.S., but I, it was too big to bring, and it's very old, maybe 150 years old. And then this one is... Uh, Malaysia, a Chris. It's also uh, vintage uh, with the silver on the outside. Uh, they do a, a washing of the blade oh. every year. Same as Woods in Damascus. It's like Damascus. But they wash the blade and then they smoke the blade over incense and it's a, uh, a very spiritual design mm -hmm. of the Chris and they say that um, the number of curves determines whether it was a common man or higher. or higher up and this one I think was a priest mm -hmm. uh, it says nine curves you can see the detail of the blade and the pattern of the layer same as the woods but they say that uh, in Malaysian culture that uh, the crisp blade brings protection to the owner mm. and if danger was near that the blade would rattle in the scabbard. Mm. Uh, it's very old. And it's also, they say you should hang it in the high spot of your house. Why? Uh, to protect the house. Mm. But they always... They it's would, for protection. Yeah. But that is not uh, the traditional, you know? <laughs> Well, Malaysian travelers had traveled to the, the Mindanao in the Philippines, and so mm. some of the design features from the Chris were, the were adopted in Mindanao, and they made a larger sword version. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, very old blade. This one is made by a uh, Condor Company in El Salvador. Mm. Uh, it's got Macarta blades, or Macarta handle, Wood. which is canvas that has been layered mm. and it's uh, with resin. Mm. So it's actually a fabric that's put together with resin. Macarta. Macarta. And the reason is, is because when it's wet, it still has grip. Mm. And this is called the Cambodian design blade it came with a leather sheath and i had a scabbard made wood mm -hmm. uh, i think it is that's nara is this nara i like this design it's uh a good chopper. And a nice grip. Yeah, a nice grip. And you can feel that it has a good grip to it. Oh, it's a good grip. 
Yeah. Here's some microchips. Yeah, microchips. It's very hard. Uh, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's better have a microchips than the well, large it, chip. <laughs> I had it uh, uh, retempered because mm. it was so soft before the before. wood curl. Yeah. So when they stay on the blade, it's uh, soft. Mm. But when they chip, it's, it's a good temper. Yeah, oh, good temper. You need to uh, temper it again so that they will have a little chip mm. and they can penetrate the steel, mm. the, the nail. This one? This next one is of a Palawan design. Mm. It's Carabao horn. Who's the maker of that one? Uh, Maraboino. Mm. Okay. And this mm. is probably my favorite. Why? I, I just like the design of it and I like the way it works when you mm. use it. And uh, the, the spine. Mm. It must be a coco, no? This is a carabao horn. Carabao horn. That's one I saw online in the, uh, like the old Palawan design. Uh -huh. The drop point. It's, good and for, it's a little shorter version. Good for bamboo and yeah. hardwood. Yeah, it's good. It's a good chopper. It's probably my favorite Etoc. Mm. This one? this one here is uh, made by Cold Steel in the U.S., which they're, they're a very, um, it's a tomahawk, they're a very cheap version, but when you buy them, it's painted black, the head, there's no stain on the handle, and uh, so mostly people buy them because they're cheap and then they modify. Uh, this has been colored with vinegar mm. and then I stained the handle and then I bought the uh, belt loop mm -hmm. and the, uh, what they call the mask for the blade separate yeah it's a tomahawk design that's called the trail hawk mm -hmm. and it's a handy little tool I think that's cast mm -hmm. Yeah, hammer pull on the one side. So, for trapping, this would be a good uh, tool to take along because you're driving spikes for snares and cutting. This is a tool that they used in the U.S. Uh, in the 17 and 1800s. Oh, the tomahawk. I see that they throw the, the... Yeah, this one's also you can throw. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one here is a, a, just a random design that uh, we came up with, uh, Marabueno Forge. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Did you design the blade? We just I... drew it out and, mm -hmm. and made it, yeah. Just for a chopper. For chopping on. Yeah. Uh, chisel grind? I think it's a... Uh, just a uh, convex one. Okay. Yeah. And then it has some uh, jute twine wrap mm -hmm. for grip. Yeah. This one? This one is also made by Condor in El Salvador. It's a, a camp hatchet, mm -hmm. what we call a camp hatchet. I've done some modifications, that, uh, did some burning uh, spruce tree that we have in the U.S and uh, elk horn, it's like a large usa, okay. and then the name for bear, mm. uh, I, I forget the name, uh, bear. Bear beards. And then also I wrapped with jute, it has a leather mask. Matching for cutting wood and uh, 
using around the camp. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so this, this one is also made by Condor. I've had this maybe 10 years. It came with a leather scabbard and Marabueno made a wood scabbard okay. for me. I've wrapped the handle in jute twine for grip. And this is called the uh, Village Parang. Parang. Yeah. And this has been a very good blade. I've uh, heavily used this. And, no, you know, it's good steel. What kind of steel? I'm not exactly sure. But. Maybe. The last one is my new build yes. from Maribor and Forge. The new build, the Etoc with brass. And we call this a uh, crown. Crown. And, and I uh, like how it has multiple pins. Mm. We call it Pamatak in Antipolo. Pamatak. Yes. And then the albino horn. The rare. Rare. Rare albino horn. Yeah. And hard to find. It is okay, sir. It's the newly built of Mr. Brown. And it also has Kamagong. Yes, come on, uh, pin and uh, inlay. What we would call the inlay. Sinabi to. So, the scabbard, is that come on, or. The scabbard what? will also be a uh, carabao horn. Uh, albino carabao horn. Albino carabao horn. And it will be same brass. Same. Uh, stopper. Mm. Stopper. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Pinakita natin na sa ano, sa video natin kay Panday. Sa kay Sobran pa natin. Ganda, grabe. So beautiful. Very to nice. see the grip. Yeah, the grip stays they in your hand. They won't slip. No slip. Because yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. So, it's for small person and a large person. You can see the grip. Yeah. Grip works just right. Mm -hmm, okay. I like this one. This is for only small person. Yeah. <laughs> this is my blade from Mirabeno Blacksmith. Very nice. It's a Kamagong scabbard. Is this also uh, brass? Uh, it's uh, copper. Copper. I like how it's aged. Copper is, they call it uh, anti aswang. Uh, anti aswang? Yes. I see. It's protection on a. Uh, Against aswang. Aswang. Ah. Aswang so that they will not come to you. Ah, I see. They will be scared of uh, copper. Copper. Ring. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, very nice. This still is, I think it's bearing. Bearing. Uh, chisel grind. Mm -hmm. Here in Antipolo, we are uh, use this one. We are not using the convex. We are not familiar of this. Right. We are raised with the uh, chisel grind. Chisel grind, yeah. And I noticed from my own experience that the chisel grind really cuts good. Yes. It cuts. Uh, it will bite. Bites in. Yes. I like the convex. Sometimes they slip. Sometimes they slip, yeah. I like the chisel grind. Mm. They will bite. Mm-hmm. At ipulo kasi, ano kami, sana yung talaga kaming gumamit nito. Bira kaming gumamit ng convex ito. Okay, sir. Kadani, bro, bro. 
Hindi na isang ulo. Kasi sinabi yung ita ko. Kasi <laughs> sinabi yung ita ko. Tapos albahay ng karabaw horn pa yung lalagay na. Scabard. Yung puta, albahay ng karabaw horn. Albahay ng karabaw horn yan. Very expensive. Hey, sir. Sir, thank you for showing your yeah. ita collection. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shout out kay Rollo. Follow niyo po siya sa kanya YouTube channel. Ito. Ito si Rollo. Yan. Ang pati si Mom Cheche Brown. Pakipalo po sa kanya YouTube channel. Yan. Thank you, sir. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you po. O oh, yun, mga kaitak. Pauwi na tayo. Ah, kagagaling na. Nagkatapos lang natin kila Mr. Brown. So, shoutout nga pala kay